Hi everyone, it's the Juilliard here. Um, so this is a quick video on how I put eyelets into my molds so that I don't have to drill. Um, so what I have in front of me is just a cross mold. Um, I have cast it with some of the UV resin so that I've got a rigid surface. I have selected, um, I like the block end um, little knife. It's like a chiseled in knife. However, you could use a, a regular X-Acto knife, okay? You just wanna be careful. Um, and then, you know, of course we have our eyelet. I'm using the brass so it's easier for you to see. Uh, you are going to mark where you want your um, eyelet um, screw to go, okay? And where we're gonna make that cut. Also, another note is I keep my molds that I have done this to separate from my other molds because sometimes I don't want um, that, um, not that it'll matter. I mean, it usually seals off and you don't have to worry about it. But anyway, let's get going here. So you're gonna take your blade and now because we have this rigid surface, we can press in to where our line is at, right? And press and press and press and press and press and press until we get to there, right? Now, since we've got to the rigid surface, we're gonna pull the knife blade out. We will remove our casted cross. And now I'll go back in here, and you can hold it in your hand if it makes it easier for you to see. And then we're just gonna complete that cut, just like that, okay? Now that that cut is complete, we pull it right back out. Now, of course, you've got the slit, so I don't like pushing it from the outside. It's like here's the screw, pushing it from the outside in, because then I am pushing any silicone and dimpling it that way. I like to do it from the inside out. And so now I will take uh, just a pair of needle nose. You wanna be careful not to push too much because we don't wanna mess that threading up. And then locate the hole, push your finger on the back side of it, right? And then just push through. Now don't force real you know, hard because you don't wanna make extra tears, right? And then just bring that eyelet in, I'll put the camera here, but anyway, so you just want to make sure that you get it exactly where you want it. See how that is? And then it's there. And if I, if it's still sticking up a little bit much, you can just press it down with your finger, but you're good. Okay. Now, boom, it's ready to put the resin in. We'll fill it up. We do this when we're, you know, sculpting and making silicone molds. Um, and if we want a, a solid mold and we don't want to have to do a two part uh, or a split mold, we will then just take our blade and cut down the side and open it up, pull our piece out, close it back up, set it back into a cup or tape it, you know, back up and then pour. You know, we just don't want to press or displace the silicone if we can help it because then it'll distort our, our project. So I try not to handle it as much as possible and just make sure that I do the proper cut, okay? So I think I've got that pretty full. I've got a few more tips that I will be sharing with you since I'm doing the video, I might as well. So now I'm just gonna move this over to my UV lamp, cure that, and uh, it'll be in there for just a second or two. Okay, so our resin is cured. And then we'll just pop out our piece. I take the where my eyelid is I'll get the part of it out first, do like that, and then just press with my finger and gently pull it out. And there we have it. I mean, you can see it barely even goes up into the eyelet there. So if I don't like that, then I can just use my little sanding stick to go down inside of the eyelet just to get that little piece. But that is it, it's secure, it's in there, it's not going anywhere. Now I didn't pour this one all the way up to the mold part, but if you fill it up, you know, just make sure you're, when you're locating your eyelet uh, screw that you've got it where you need it before you make the cut, okay? And that's it, piece of cake. Now the other one is just as easy to do. So I have, okay. So this is for the ones that I just, like molds like this, right? Okay. I either have molds where I know what length I want. Instead of cutting the mold off, I'll just 
poke a hole in it with a needle uh, for my wire to go through. And that way I'm able to suspend my eyelet um, in the middle of a container. Um, but on this one here, I've taken a Q-tip. You could use a toothpick, but toothpicks are round unless you buy the square ones um, and they can roll around on the top of these. Whereas I can take um, the Q-tip, I can lay my mold on, mark my, my position, find my center, right? And then once I found my center, I flatten this down with my, see how I've got it flat? So in that way, once I get my eyelet into the center, I'm trying to show you here. Once I get my eyelet into the center and um, kind of lined up, I can then straddle, and I because I have it marked, it's easy for me to place it, okay? Um, and I can also make sure that my eyelet screw is down in there, or it doesn't even have to be an eyelet screw. It can really just be anything that you want to place in the center. And there it is, right? And that's it. And then you'll fill it and go all the way up. The resin doesn't need to go as high as the tip. It only needs to go up to the threading and you're good. And I'll get this one cast and I'll show you. Okay, so we have the mold filled. We've got the resin poured up to the eyelet and I'm just gonna move it over to my UV lamp. We've got the piece done, right? And now it's time to get these. Now everybody knows these are kind of difficult. So here's another tip for you is I keep a little bottle. Now you could do a syringe, uh, but I keep a little needle nose bottle with, it has filled with water and it's one drop of um, dish soap, okay? Um, and I do that because I can just take this and slide it just right there. And don't touch the side of my piece, okay, at all. I just do that. And then all I do is work it around and it doesn't take much. I mean, literally just a, a drop or two. And then I just work it around, like I said, just, and you can take your thing. And then all of a sudden you, when you do this like that, your piece pops right out. Ta-da. Done. And then just like normal, you would clean up this um, with a blade and just come in here and just kind of clean that up and get all that area trimmed. And because your eyelet's in there, it's not going anywhere, right? So this gives you that. And so it allows you to then go back and a lot of you will, um, you know, pot that, put a little bit more resin up in that top area or whatever. But you can see, there it is. And if it's in the hole, so easy to deal with like i said you just can take your blade and you can go in there and that'll come out if you don't want to scrape you're not really doing anything it just it doesn't stick <laughs> so it just comes right out i'm trying to show it to you there that little piece that was in there it just kind of come right out so that's it and then just clean up your piece but it's in there and you don't have to worry about you know trying to drill a hole the resin is completely around all the threads and it's locked in. So anyway, that's how I do that. This is another hole making tip uh, on how I create holes um, that I can then thread or run wire through or, or whatever. And it actually is used for many other things, um, but there's a couple products that you can use. So most of you know about silicone oil, right? Okay. And then there is this product here by DuPont, the Teflon Nonstick Dry Film Lubricant, okay? So what I do is I either take toothpicks, <clears throat> and I like this one here, has silicone oil in it, this little cup has a little bit of the silicone oil, and I will just keep saturating <clears throat> the toothpick um, until it takes on quite a bit of the oil. And then I just keep those in a little um, bottle like this so that um, I, I know that they're the silicone toothpicks, all right? The other way is, is that because I like to use wire, uh, these are floral picks. Um, I coat them, because they are metal, I coat them with the Teflon. 
And so I just do a nice little coat on there and it's a dry coat, right? So it'll just go on. And some metals release pretty easily from resin, but sometimes they don't. So anyway, just give it a good dry. I'll show you here. It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a milky coating on it. So it's on there, right? Now, my silicone molds. Uh, just like the video before, I show you how I do a slit so that I can, you know, put the eyelets in. Well, I also do this to put uh, the wire through so that I can run um, my different wires. Um, you mark your spot. You'll fill this up with, I use UV resin all the time for these projects, but anyway, you'll fill it up with the resin. This gives you a rigid surface, okay? You'll mark your spot where you want your hole to go. I then take that and I will take a, a, either a needle or a small pointed tool and I will proceed to puncture the side see here and then I will push it this way fold it inward so that I can you know puncture it through the other side now if the resins in here you would just do it from side to side I'm just doing this to show you because this is one I've already done but you can see so then it's in there right now that hole is there well then what I do is I take my uh, Teflon coated wire and insert it when I'm ready to cast my piece you know take your time to match up the holes don't try to poke through and then you know repuncture another hole and then another hole I so I push and I pull I push and I pull until it looks like my sides are are good and they're not like bulging um, they're gonna be bulged a little bit because the silicone is displaced some um, but that's okay because I'm going to sand them. I don't mind sanding my projects. It's just I don't want to have to drill if I can help it. All right, so now we have this. And then we'll just take um, our UV resin. And we're just going to fill that up. Now I'll just take this and I'll pop it in the light. Okay, so we're back. You can see we have the wire through here. All right. All we do is give it a little like that and ta-da there it is and we'll reuse that again like I said I keep those in little containers we'll use my other little tip which is to take a little needle nose bottle here and just squeeze a drop not much of this um, solution and that will just help us get this piece out right here at the table alrighty so we've got our piece out all right now I've done a couple different ones here really quickly just to show you. This one was with a toothpick, um, and these, of course, were done with the wire. Now, the wire that you use or whatever you use, right, and you've coated it with the silicone or the Teflon coating, right, um, just you determine that based on what kind of wire you want to put through, correct? So, like, here's a twisted wire. This is the one with the toothpick. It goes right back in okay and I do get asked well okay how but I don't like the frosted look no worries so you take the same toothpick right you can easily brush on or squeeze on a little bit of the resin and then you just put it back in the hole and you twist and twist and twist and what that does is it lets that deposit of resin get back into all that frosted area if there is any frosted area uh, and makes it less noticeable. It's going to be noticeable anyway, but at least now whenever it's noticeable, it will be semi or almost completely clear so that you can see that your wire is in there, okay? Um, but you can do all your sanding and everything before you even do the wire. You can put beads. It's just, it's endless, right? And then this one here to show you how tiny. So this is a small thin piece of wire, and this is that wire, the hole that we had before, and see there we go. Perfect. Now, of course, you want to make sure this one here is the one I got off just a little bit, so I, I'm not ever been really happy with it, but just make sure that when you're putting your hole through that you're, you know, straight across. And I can, I always apply a piece of tape. You'll apply your piece of tape uh, to the piece after you've got your resin filled in it and it's solid, right? 
then wrap your tape around to make sure that you've got everything really squared up and that gives you your guide for where your holes go okay um, so I hope this helped you and like I said sand it do whatever you want to do but at least now there's no you don't have to do that you don't have to worry about <laughs> um, going back and drilling uh, I, it, it's such a pain I do it on some things but for the most part I just put my little hole and see you can barely see that it's in there so you want to keep these molds separate from your other molds you can also put a dot of you know um, the uh, use a permanent marker and make the dot on here so that you know where it's at but um, otherwise you can just kind of look at it and you can kind of see that it's right there all right so anyway hope that helps another quick tip for you